Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, this is Rembeard, and you're watching the uh, Old Gods run of uh, Tempest Keep. Uh, and it was a pretty fun run as well. We did this uh, on the same day as the Serpent Shrine Cavern run. And of course this raid is a lot smaller, uh, as there are only four bosses. It was actually a lot less interesting than Serpent Shrine Cavern, unfortunately. Because uh, there aren't a lot of tactics that you had to take into account. Maybe, yeah, Kelthas was fun, but I mean, yeah, it, it was alright, I guess. Uh, here you see his kill, uh, Alar, as the first boss, of course. Where you have to swap around on the top and then kill him and then go down and kill him again. Um, I think we had uh, a rather easy time uh, clearing this. As you see, we start off with uh, quite uh, with only a couple of people. I think we were like 11. 11 people, 12 people in the beginning. Uh, and along the way I invited some more people. Um, because as we, as our core isn't too big, the amount of players that return every week, we uh, just pug a lot of people. Uh, and there are a surprising amount of level 70s willing to pug these raids that are appropriately geared and everything. So, yeah, that's, that's really nice. We actually got quite some uh, applicants for the guild as well through just taking along pugs. Um, yeah, let's see then. I think it was really awkward because we got the, uh, what's it called? The gun from uh, Alar? I'm not sure what it's called, but we didn't have any hunters. Uh, you can see it's almost down. Uh, me and my fellow tank had a very easy time tanking this. And that's the kill on Alar. So great. Oh, next up was... Uh, this boss, Solarian, um, this was kind of fun I guess, it was still just a tank and spank fight, me and my fellow tank barely had anything to do, I think yeah, she just keeps those, uh, she keeps repeating those missiles and then the, and the AoE attack every now and then, uh, the, that's the one fun mechanic where like three people get shut up in the air and here you can see two people just died, one of them being a priest, wait is that true, maybe that's not true. Oh well, you just get shut up into into the air and you have to survive somehow. So you have to get a levitate or anything. So far, something like that. I think I could do it by just charging at the boss. So it was kind of cheesy. Um, aside from that, it was just another really easy clear. I think most, I think pretty much all the bosses here in Tempest Keep were just not too interesting tactic wise, but they just took a long time. Mm. Of course with more people it would have been uh, uh, a lot faster but like they're not bosses that require a lot of people to make it they ju they're just bosses that require a lot of people to do it fast uh, you'll see in the uh, next video uh, in which we do Black Temple which was really cool um, you'll see that we actually needed a lot of people to do the tactics properly because it was just so hard uh, and that was definitely not the case here at the end, uh, Solarian just transforms into something and dies. Uh, and a very nice Warlock trinket. Uh, this boss was uh, also not too interesting <laughs> because uh, he shoots out these bubbles, you can see them. Um, and they do pretty hard AoE damage. But they always, uh, they're always targeted at the player that is furthest away. So the tactic is just to have everyone stand on me, right inside the boss, and you can see my fellow tank there in the background, darting around the room, and he just runs around so that all the bubbles are targeted at him, and if you keep moving, they'll never hit you, so he's just completely fine running around, and as you can see, there's not a lot of tanking for me to do. I mean, there's the obvious pounding tactics and everything, but it's just, yeah, nothing much. This was just, yeah. And this one went a bit faster at least, so that was good. Didn't have a lot of health. Avoid Reaver. Um, so yeah, it was just a really easy kill. Some more nice trinkets. And then there he was, Kelthas. Um, I said it wasn't too interesting, but of course Kelthas will always be fun. It's so diverse. All the ads and then flying and shit. And yeah, it's a nice fight. 
we had this entire rotation set up for who was going to take the uh, legendary weapons. Um, but it turned out that everyone could loot them. Like, there was a copy of every legendary weapon for everyone. A la, well, it's a Draenor. I don't know. So everyone got to run around with cool weapons. So that was nice. Um, of course, these first ads are so easy. It was insane. I think this was actually more... Uh, this was easier than... Uh, if you were to do it solo, because if you if I solo this, I get stunned and dazed and everything all the time by the bloody what is it toy box and shit. It's awful. So, and and here of course there's so many people in the raid that not everyone gets dazed and that's amazing. Here we got the legendary weapons, warp slicer and the bulwark. That was really cool. I think the, my effects weren't too great on the tanking uh, weapon and shield. Just some arcane resistance or something. I don't know, it was okay. Of course there's the uh, phase where he just stands around and does nothing for a long time until he resurrects them. Uh, and here's the uh, fear fest starts coming in. Uh, but it wasn't quite alright. I got shut up into the corner due to that bloody arcane explosions as you can see. So awful. Um, but yeah, we had a very easy time on these ads. As they are obviously a lot uh, a lot less strong than Kilthas. And then it was time to take on Kilthas himself. Oh yeah. Mm, I do like Kilthas. He's so cool. Uh, yeah, the fight isn't too amazing. Me and my fellow tank, once again, didn't have too much to do. Uh, some mind controls and everything. Tried to kill them. I think we, yeah, the Wallock died, somehow. I don't know. Oh, uh, the rest of the mind control stayed alive. That's too bad. And here he goes all ham, flies up and everything. Um, I don't think the loot was too great. It's just on a short, uh, on a low percentage. Pop hero and everything. Oh wait, that, that had already been popped. We get shut up into the air and uh, we just finish him up nice and steady. Some people die, but uh, I guess the AoE damage was quite high. And we obviously didn't have too many... Oh wow, I did not remember that it was this close. Didn't know we lost that many people. Oh well, there's the achievement. No alar. That's too bad. Uh, no ashes, I mean. There was a lot of loot, but it wasn't too great. Um, but yeah, that was our uh, Tempest Keep run. Uh, look forward to the Black Temple run, because that was a really cool run. Like way better than all the other ones combined. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next. Uh, I'll see you again next time. Uh, goodbye.